Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And I know this is not the best setup, and I apologize, but I wanted to give you guys a demonstration and get a point across. And I think many of you will get that point. So in this video, I am testing or continuing to test T-Mobile's home internet. I know I told you guys in the last update that after zero... 178 firmware and now 1609 the product has been much better and it has been 100 percent i say i'm going to say now confidently that this is ready for prime time and i know this will give some of you peace of mind that may want to get this product or have recently just got the product so here i'm running speed tests in the background and then you just saw me put the phone in the screen so I'm running a YouTube video at 2160p HDR while I'm doing speed testing. And as you can see, the speeds are right around what T-Mobile is now advertising as home internet. They want the speeds to be around the 100 megabits per second mark. And here you can see, I put it in the video that it's at 2160p HDR. The video was not preloaded. I started the video as soon as I clicked on it. And as you see, again, over 100. And then also here later a bit in the video, you will see in the background while I'm doing the speed testing and I'm displaying this video to you guys that it's running without any buffering at 2160p 4K. I'm also downloading a large game on my PS5 in the background. So what I'm essentially doing here, I'm stress testing the network. And I'm running all of this in the background around the same time. So I'm doing continuous cycles of speed tests. And you'll see they some, some exceed above 100 megabits a second. Some are a little bit under. But it's right around that 100 megabits per second that they're averaging here. As you can see, again, the video is still running. No buffer. And this is a 21... 60p hdr video speed test is still going in the background and then here in a few seconds i flip it to the hdmi 2 where where the game is being downloaded in the background while all of the other while the speed testing in the video as you can see now this game is also downloading in the background while the other two well now the video only the video is running but I'm also speed testing uh, cycles as well. And I'll go back to the speed testing as well. So yeah, while this is uh, while you guys are uh, continuing to look at this, um, the product is good. I got to give them, I got to give that to T-Mobile. Now, it's been, in my opinion, in beta this entire time. Until they got to firmware 0178 and 1609, all that before was, to me, was all in beta. That was all beta. That was a that was a bumpy ride. I gotta I gotta say that. I can't I can't sugarcoat it. That was bumpy. Early on, it was real ugly. It was bad. I couldn't even stream a 1080 60 live stream. An NBA game. I couldn't stream it. It was buffering. It was that bad at the beginning. So now, definitely much better. Much, much better. Um, also, this is for my peace of mind as well. I'm still testing in the background. I'm doing these stress tests for my peace of mind as well as I'm using this product full time. I want to make sure that this is going to be what I can use six months to a year down the line. And we'll definitely find out. I'll take you guys along for the journey. Uh, my next test currently is I want to run this above a terabyte. I know that's not ethical. I know that that's a lot of usage, but I want to do it to see if there's if anything changes in terms of priority. Do the speeds get capped? Does it slow down significantly? Does buffering start? And that's where I that's where I want to take this product next is to get it above a terabyte to let you guys know, hey, yes, this is truly unlimited. And even going over a terabyte, you really don't see any difference in the experience and performance. So here, as you see, I'm toggling back and forth. I'm still running the video. It's still not buffering. I'm, I'm still downloading the big game, about 14 gigabytes. I know there's bigger ones out there, but this is a pretty big file, and I'm still running speed tests, and it's, it's flawless. 
Maybe the game is not downloading as fast. If I had maybe a gigabit connection, I, I get that. But I think for me, this will do. I can definitely let this download in the background, uh, go, you know, shower, shave, whatever, come back and then play the game. It's not that big of a time. As you see, 15 minutes, it's not a big deal. So I'll leave you guys with the rest of this video. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you've recently got it or have had it, the home internet for several months. Let me know your experience. I definitely uh, look forward to reading those comments. Again, I'm going to show you guys once again that I'm still running the, the video 2160p HDR. It's still, it's still running. It's still not buffering. The game is still downloading in the background. And then... I don't remember if I'm if I do more speed testing. I think I do a couple more speed tests. So I'll leave you guys with the rest of that video. If you have been on the channel or you are new to the channel and you have not yet liked, share, subscribed, make sure you do so. Hit the notification bell so you are notified when I do upload content. Make sure to follow my social media outlets for more updates and interactions. Thanks again for watching. This is Tyrone with Tech Life. I will see you in the next one. Peace.